Okay, so now let's start modeling this building. So this is what it'll look like when we're finished. But for now, let's start from a, a clean slate. Okay, so the first thing that we should do is create a new thermal zone. So in this toolbar, you see the new transist 3D zone. You can also do it through the this menu here, new zone tool. So what's really important is that we always sketch our building model inside a transist 3D zone. So we have to create the zone and then activate it. And if we don't do that, then the data won't be saved inside the building model, it'll be in the SketchUp model. We don't want to do anything to do with SketchUp. Okay, so once that zone is activated, it turns from the blue line, as you saw here, to a dashed uh, cube. So that means the zone's activated, and now we can start modeling. So we'll draw the floor area first. Our first zone is 8 meters square. So if we just hover the box out and then type in 8, 8, you can see down in the bottom right hand corner the dimensions come out. So do that again, 8, 8, then press enter and it'll automatically draw this rectangle. Then we can use the hand tool to move around, this orbit tool to orbit, or zoom extents. It'll fill the box to the screen. And now to turn this floor into a volume, we use the push-pull tool. So Google SketchUp is very easy to use. Just click on that surface, move the cursor up. We're going to have a height of 3 meters. There we go. We've got our first zone. And we can use the tape measure to measure this. If we want to check what it was. So we've got 8 meters by 8 meters by 3 meters. And good practice is to name each zone. So we click on the zone and then go show object info window. We here have the object info for this zone. We've got 64 square meters floor area external surface area. I've got a zone name. So let's call this zone 1. And then press the tab button on your keyboard and that will enact the zone name. So now we have zone 1 here. And another thing we can do is look at the information for each of these walls. So if we click on a wall, then it will give us the surface information. So here we have the type wall so we either can have a floor a wall a ceiling or a roof so transist 3d automatically guesses what these surfaces are and then we have the construction type so this we have a range of default construction types and x wall that refers to a construction type that will be assigned inside tran build which is the building model user interface so that external wall as a default series of maybe three layers, three or four layers of building materials. So it'll have that construction type, and then when we get into train build later, we can assign exactly what that is. And then we have the outside boundary condition. So currently outdoors, and that'll also go into the building model. It can, if you have adjacent zones, be a zone. So we'll be doing that next when we build our second zone. So what I'd like you to do, see if you can add the second zone. So use this zone tool here and add an 8 by 8 square meter, 3 meter high zone, just like this, in this zone here. So have a go doing that yourself and then we'll carry on in the next lecture.